When President Shagari swept back to power, the warning signs were loud and clear. Nigeria's economy in a terrible mess. Widespread corruption at the highest government levels. Shagari tried to combat both. Only two days ago, he announced tough austerity measures. But Nigeria's debts have piled up alarmingly since the oil boom of the 70s collapsed. There are acute food shortages, chronic unemployment, and health and education services in a shambles. And in a country bedeviled by tribal animosities, Shagari's appeals for unity have been ignored. We don't want division. We don't want north-south confrontation anymore. We want all Nigerians, wherever they are, to regard themselves as brothers and sisters. Shagari did try to solve the crisis by expelling two million illegal immigrants who had come to Nigeria to find work from neighboring West African states. He accused them of taking jobs away from Nigerians, and his move to throw them out was popular in Nigeria itself, but widely condemned by the rest of the world. Now, Nigeria's new military rulers have accused Shagari and his government of turning the country into a debtor and beggar nation. Many fear what the military's solution to the crisis will now be.